Hello everyone, myself Soumya, Assistant Professor in CSE ML Department, MLR Institute of Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about hash pointer and Merkle tree. So, coming to the overview of this presentation, this presentation covers what is a hash pointer, example for hash pointer, what is a Merkle tree and Merkle root and example of Merkle tree. So, what is hash pointer? So, hash pointers are nothing but it is a data structure which contains the previous block hash value and a pointer to that block. So, we know blockchain is nothing but collection of blocks and all the blocks are connected together. So, how all these blocks are connected together using this hash pointer only. For example, consider this is the first block which is called as genesis block and this is the second block. So, this hash pointer will point to the previous block. So, it is a pointer, it is a data structure which contains the previous blocks hash. So, for example, if the previous blocks hash is some x5, then that value will be stored here and appointed to that block. So, a pointer will be created to that block. So, this is a data structure which stores the hash value of the previous block and it will also point to the previous block. And we know if it is a genesis block or if it is a first block, it does not have any hash pointer. Why? Because it cannot point to any previous block. As we do not have any previous blocks here, it cannot point to any block. So, coming to the example of uh, hash pointer. So, here we can see it is a simple uh, blockchain which contains four blocks here. So, we know in block each block it will contain different things like timestamp, Merkle root, transaction data, timestamp, everything will be there. Along with that, we also have hash pointer here. This is a block 0, which is also called as Genesis block. And if you observe here, this is a hash pointer which is empty. Why? Because we do not have any previous block here. So, the hash pointer will be empty here. And now coming to the block 1. For the block 1, the hash pointer is pointing to the previous block. So, it, it contains the address or the hash value of the previous block. For example, if the hash value of the previous block is x5, then it will contain x5 and this pointer will point to the previous block. The same way block 2 hash pointer will point to block 1 and hash 3 sorry block 3 hash will be point to the previous block that is block 2. So, block hash pointer is a pointer or it is a data structure which will point to the previous block using the previous block hash value. So, coming to the example explanation here we have 4 blocks that are connected block 0 does not point to another block. Why? Because it is a first block of the blockchain. So, it does not have any previous block. So, that is why the value is empty here and the first block is called as genesis block. And block 0 is also identified as a genesis block. This is another name for first block. And now block 1 has a hash value which is stored in it that is calculated on the base of the data present in the previous block. So, indirectly we can say like it contains the hash value of the previous block. So, how that hash value will be calculated based on the data available in the block. For example, block 0 is containing some 3 transactions. For all these 3 transactions, a hash value will be calculated together and this hash value will be stored in the hash pointer of the block 1. So, that is the meaning of the statement. Block 1 has a hash value stored in it. So, this hash pointer will have a what we call hash value stored in it. How it is calculated on the basis of data present in the previous block. So, in the previous block in the sense it is a block 0. So, in block 0 whatever the data is there for this the hash value will be calculated and this hash value will be stored in the hash pointer of the block 1. The same process will be repeated here. The same way block 2 is also containing the hash value of the previous block that is block 1 and so on. So, in that way all the blocks will be connected together and we know the hash value cannot be changed. It cannot be changed in the sense if any single change is there in the data automatically the hash value will be reflected. So, if any intruder or attacker wants to change the data in the blockchain, transaction data in the blockchain, then automatically it will affect the hash value. So, that the person or the owner of the blockchain can easily identify okay there is a hack something like that. Right. So, using this feature, we can secure our blockchain. So, what is a Merkle root or what is a Merkle tree? So, a Merkle root is nothing but it is a synonymous to a fingerprint of all the transactions in the 
block so it's like a fingerprint so that means it is unique value so it's like a uh, fingerprint for all the transactions in the blockchain so we know for each transaction generally the hash value will be calculated but this merkle root is nothing but this is the hash value of all the transactions together which is created by hashing together the pair of transaction ids for example consider in block 0 i have four transactions transaction 1 transaction 2 transaction 3 and transaction 4 so for t1 i'll calculate hash for t2 i'll calculate hash for t3 i'll calculate hash and for t4 also i'll calculate the hash all together will generate the hash of the overall block and this you're calling as merkle root that we'll see in the next uh, slide so a merkle tree involves taking larger amounts of transaction data and constructing it in a way that is more convenient process so the tree merkle tree is nothing but it's a tree it will represented in the form of tree and how this merkle root is created how the merkle tree is generated that will be indicated in the merkle tree representation so how you are generating the merkle root by combining all the hashes of the individual transaction so that merkle root will be created and this merkle root will also be mentioned in the block header so each block will contain one block header so that contains transaction data time stamp hash value everything it will contain along with that it will also contain the merkle root so what is that merkle root the hash of all the transactions in that block so this is a merkle root creation so this is actually a block header a block header will contain the version previous block hash merkle root time stamp bits and nonce so this way we discussed in the previous uh, videos so nonce is nothing but it is a unique value it will add more uniqueness along with the hash value and time is nothing but time stamp bits are nothing but here we can consider is as a transactions right so merkle root also will be present in the block header merkle root is nothing but what it is a uh, what we call hash value combined hash value of all the transactions together consider we have four transactions t1 t2 t3 t4 so now t1 t2 t3 t4 for this again i'm calculating the hash how i'm calculating for t1 and t2 i'm calculating as t12 hash and for t3 and t4 i'm calculating as t34 again for these two i am calculating the hash as t1234 this i am calling as a merkle root so this merkle root will be maintained in a each block header so as this block is containing four transactions for these four transactions we are dividing again it's like a tree representation from these two we are making one and from these two again we are making one and again from these two we are making one which is nothing but t1234 which is called as merkle root so this is another way of representing merkle root creation so as we discussed we have four transactions here t1 2 3 4 so for t1 i am calculating the hash of t1 that is hash of t1 h of t1 and for t2 i am calculating hash h of t2 and for t3 h of t3 for t4 it is h of t4 again for t1 and t2 again i am calculating the hash that is h of t1 comma t2 and in the same way for t3 and t4 and finally i am combining all these transactions h of t1 t2 t3 t4 but what is t1 t2 that is t12 for t3 4 t3 4 so by combining all these together you are getting a value this you are calling as a merkle root so merkle root is nothing but it is a hash value of the all the transactions hashes together so if we have four transactions here for all the four transactions we are calculating the individual hash individual hashes and you combining all the hashes together to get the merkle root which will create uh, which will provide a uniqueness for your block so that is about hash pointer and merkle root and merkle tree so in this video we discussed about what is a hash pointer and the example of hash pointer what is merkle tree and merkle root and example of merkle tree thank you